In this video we're going to have a look at soft tissue techniques for shoulder pain, focusing on the posterior shoulder. Working around the lower traps and rhomboids and the upper traps can be helpful and often serves as a good warm-up for the patient. But pay particular attention to tender points over the muscle belly of the infraspinatus, which is found on the back of the scapula below the spine of the scapula. Working generally over this area or specifically over any tender points can bring about some significant relief of shoulder pain. Then working a little lower towards the armpit, you can target the teres major and also get in and work on the latissimus dorsi. If the patient has reasonable mobility, you can perform the scapula lift technique by placing their arm behind their back, which internally rotates the shoulder and in mobile patients should lift the scapula. From here you can work underneath the border of the scapula and you may also be able to hold the inferior border of the scapula and the top of the glenohumeral joint and perform some scapulothoracic mobilizations. I also like to use some myofascial cups to firmly grip the soft tissue without the associated pressure of using your thumbs. And this can provide a significant soft tissue mobilization and decompression at the same time. It's often reported that this is very therapeutic for the patient, but just don't leave the pods on for too long, perhaps no longer than a minute, if you want to avoid any excessive red circles. Fortunately for Richard here, we haven't left them on too long, so these marks, as you can see, are fading very quickly.